This is the On Hub, the very first home router from Google. Hello, I'm Dongo, and if you wonder why Google decided to make a home router, well, I have no idea. But here's a hint. You need a Google account to use this router, and when in use, it connects to Google all the time. That said, this one here is like no other routers I've ever seen. It is a true dual band AC 1900 router, but you can easily mistake it for a Bluetooth speaker. Or maybe it's not a mistake at all, because on top here, it does have a 3 watt speaker. Now, there is no microphone and there's no volume control, so you cannot expect to talk to it the way you do with the Amazon Echo or play music with it either. The speaker here only does this. That's right, it helped make the setup process so much cooler. Now, the router does have a built-in Bluetooth, but that's not activated yet. Also not activated is the support for Zigbee wireless standard. The hardware parts are inside, but there's no firmware or software for them yet. That's for the future. Also note that the USB port right here is right now pretty much a placeholder. By the way, the router has only one LAN port and only one WAN port. Google say that it limits the amount of ports so that there's less wire coming out from the router. That plus the good design here means you can put the router out in the open, hence better for Wi-Fi coverage. But what about trying to connect this router here to that modem at the far corner of the house? Well, there's no answer for it other than running a long cable. Now, the on up here does not have a web interface, so the only way you can set up or manage it is via the on hub mobile app for Android or iOS. The app works really well and very slick. You can easily add more Google account to manage the same on hub unit, or you can add more on hub units to one account. You can quickly view all connected clients and tap on them to do more. You can even do a speed test. But honestly, there are many things you cannot do with OnHub for now. For example, there's no support for guest networking, there's no parental control, no support for dynamic DNS, no web filtering, and so on. In fact, the list of what you can do with the OnHub, which is right here, is so much shorter than the list of what you cannot. As for performance, in my testing, the OnHub here wasn't terrible, but it wasn't impressive either. It has the sustained real world speed at a close range of some 290 megabit per second, and at a longer range, some 70 megabit per second. And the range itself is not super impressive either, it's effectively about 120 feet away. Now, many cheaper AC1900 router can do better than that. Keep in mind though, the OnHub is an evolving piece of hardware and can deliver a lot more via firmware and software upgrade in the future. For now though, it's kind of painfully lacking. So for more on this one here, check out my full review at CR.com. Basically, if you would love to have your home connected to Google the way your Android phone has been keeping you, this OnHub here would be the best $200 you've ever spent. And don't worry about the privacy. Google say very clearly that the OnHub does not collect information about your network or the website you visit and blah, blah, blah. And I totally and completely trust it. And that's because I'm Dongo and this has been the first look at the OnHub from Google.